Hello you guys. I have never done just an exclusive grocery haul here on this channel um, and I wanted to do it here instead of my main channel or my, not even call it my main channel, my other channel. Um, so yeah, I just went to Aldi, spent $180, got a full fridge restock because we've been out of town and we needed everything. I stopped grocery shopping literally like a week before we left, honestly like two weeks before we left. So we're out of everything. So I get a full full restock um, and I have an Aldi right down the road for me and I just rarely go unless it's just like a quick pickup. I think I've only ever done one exclusive Aldi haul and y'all we got some good stuff. So I have, before we get into this, uh, <laughs> we're gonna chat. Um, we are really trying to stick with more like whole foods, whole grains, and now is everything in here perfect? Absolutely not. But I definitely made it a point to really shop a lot of veg, a lot of whatnot, and I am going to prep it so that we use it and it doesn't go bad. But I am very like ready to start fresh for this new year. So if you have not shopped at Aldi, like oh, so good. But if you do, what, do, what else do I need? Because I got a lot of stuff, but let's get into it. Um, I tried the cage-free large brown eggs. Um, I grabbed a half gallon of milk for Arlo. And this is, I think, comparable to the Coffee Mate like Natural Bliss. This is the Delightfully Pure. This is made with just milk and cream. So it's got non-fat milk, cream, sugar, and natural flavors. So that's it. Like it's a much cleaner creamer. So I got that in hazelnut to try and see what I think about it. I like that, um, yeah, and hotter iced coffee is typically what I will use creamer with, obviously, duh. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> um, rolled oats, um, I need to get started back into eating breakfast. I'm somebody who eats really late in the day and then binges at night because I didn't eat enough, but if I eat enough during the day, I'm much more satiated towards the end of the night, and I used to really like rolled oats with, like, peanut butter and some mixed berries that are frozen. So I'm gonna try to start incorporating that back into my life and see how that regulates my hunger like throughout the night. Um, oh my God, my hood's all messed up. All right, next. <clears throat> oh my God. Ooh, I got so much crap, y'all. So okay, so as I'm saying, I didn't buy much processed stuff. The first thing is processed, but these are like, not these are good on the scale of process so these are the mary's gone crackers again brown rice quinoa flax seeds sesame seeds tamari which is basically soy sauce sea salt that's it that's all that's in these crackers i loved these so much when i used to work for sephora i would bring these in my lunch with a mashed up avocado so good and obviously veggies and other things but those are really good and i was surprised to see them there scott was talking to me about pasta and specifically like processed carbs really do not sit well in his stomach at all. And I typically buy like the protein pasta, the like when it looks like this, literally the protein pasta. And he was saying that it's basically the same, like there's seven grams of protein versus 10 grams of protein, but this one is actually not that bad, but they do add protein and stuff in it. So basically this is going to just be a lot simpler and cleaner. It's literally just organic whole wheat flour. So we're gonna stick to whole grain pasta instead of processed pasta like this, even though I use the word processed very lightly because this is processed as well, but you get what I'm kind of getting at. We're trying to be not perfect, healthy. These little baby potatoes instead of rice all the time are a good little side dish. So they only have giant bags of potatoes and <laughs> I didn't really want something that big because I know they wouldn't last that long or they would go off before we ate them all. So I decided to go with these even though they're more pricey. This has been what I've been doing for dinners recently. I will still have a carb like potatoes, rice and whatnot, but I'll put, and then a protein and veggie, but I'll put it on a bed of like arugula and spinach. So I grabbed these, these are organic baby spinach and arugula mixes. Um, just as like extra greens basically. 
I find that they really satiate me. So I have two of those. My dad is like the king of chopping up vegetables and having just a huge Tupperware container full of veggies and just bringing it out and snacking on it. And I'm just like, I need to get back into that habit. I grew up that way. I just have been falling off and that happens. If I had that to snack on while I was making dinner, I wouldn't have, you know, pretzels, chips, all that crap, which is fine, but it's like veggies, obviously a better alternative. So I love celery. It's one of my favorite vegetables, but I never get it. Um, bag of clementines, the little cuties. Arlo loves these. They make great, just quick, easy snacks. I decided to grab these instead of the bell peppers that I normally do. Again, my dad had them at the house, and so I decided to pick them again. The mini peppers. I love French style green beans over any other green beans. They're just better in my opinion. They're crunchier and they stay crunchier longer. Um, a big old head of broccoli. I grabbed some sugar snap peas. I figured we could do these um, in like a stir fry later this week or even tonight, I don't know. Um, some zucchini, two avocados. These avocados were 65 cents, which is crazy because I'm pretty sure in regular grocery stores they're like a dollar something. I got a bunch of Honeycrisp apples. I like to prep these out again, just have them peeled, soaking in, um, or you soak them in like salt and water. Soak them for a couple, like, like an hour, and then drain them, pat them dry, and they stay in the fridge, not brown, crispy, crunchy for at least a week. So I bought four of those. Scott also just likes to eat them. I don't like to buy apples. A butternut squash, a healthy, like, creamy veggie, um, some parsley, and um, do, 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 what are you? Um, cilantro. I want to make my green goddess dressing again to pour over different things. It's just so good. It's not mine. I find it ooh, off Pinterest. Baby cucumbers just for my veggies. Again, carrots as well. Like these big carrots over the mini carrots. Now, if you don't have time to do all of it, go with the mini carrots. But my dad built, um, he was in construction or he was, he owned a construction company and he would build the plants for, um, like food processing companies and he just would say like literally they peel carrots baby carrots using lye like acid so you're like kind of is that great no so if you can get those cool if you can't i mean i have a bag of baby carrots in my fridge right now am i perfect no i'm just trying to be better <laughs> some garlic um some ginger i figured we could make some really good dressings with that I grabbed a mild block of cheddar cheese. I'm stopping buying those pre-shredded cheeses as much just because they're coated with stuff. I like this stuff better. It melts better. It's just, in my opinion, better. I got some solid white albacore tuna. I used to love this for my lunches mixed with Greek yogurt and like buffalo sauce or something. It's just so good. And then dip crackers in it. Literally obsessed. Um, some onions. And then, oh, okay. So trying not to eat as much processed bread and whatnot, I was buying sourdough bread every single week from Meyer, and I absolutely love it. It's my favorite one. But I wanted to try this sprouted, sprouted seven grain bread. So basically it's just pretty clean sprouted whole grains, which are like um, wheat berries, quinoa millet, whole grains, barley, um, rye berries, and amaranth, amaranth. Uh, water, gluten, flour, there is oil. It's the absolute last um, ingredient. So we'll see. I like sandwiches. Um, I like toast. I just like it. I don't want to give up everything, but this is more of like a less processed bread. This though is not, <laughs> as I drop it in smashing too many pieces, I love baked lays. This is like they're comparable. I need to have like a chip with a sandwich. If I make a sandwich for lunch, like Scott's calling me. I need it. Yes. What do they make? What do they got? No. Wait, yes, like a salad. Like back, um, as I'm talking about being healthy and Scott's going to a falafel place. 
for lunch. <laughs> it's fun. Um, but yes, I have to have chips with my sandwich. Like, listen, I can't, I just can't be perfect. I prefer baked over other ones, though. It's not the health things. I just prefer the texture. These, I want to see if Arlo will like them. I don't know if he will. I think they're like the, they're a knockoff of some brand. I can't think of it at this point. But they are apple pie fruit and nut bars. They're only seven ingredients. So they're dairy free, free gluten free, whatever, all the things. But dried apples, almonds, dates, walnuts, and that's raisins and cinnamon. That's it. So I'm hoping he will like these um, and we can switch off of those like granola bars things, but we'll see slowly but surely. I do have this for him though, some french fries and some chicken nuggets. Again, these are literally going to be, I'm going to make it a point to only serve these like on the weekends or when we're quick rush rush, but like I'm going to start modifying my dinners so that he can eat it. Like my dad reminded me like, they didn't make two separate meals for us every night. Like we just ate what was served. Um, so anyways, I'm not gonna force it. I'm not gonna be crazy and drive myself nuts, but just trying to not have to cook two meals every week, but still having some chicken nuggets and french fries when it's needed. Like, you know, again, not perfect. Trying, trying. Another thing I know he absolutely loves and I hate, which is why I never buy them, is raisins. Again, a nice healthy little snack for him. So grab those. These, um, I just grabbed some beans. So black beans and then garbanzo beans just to throw in salads, add extra protein fiber, all that stuff. Um, I did get these uh, Norwegian crisp crackers. I like these, again, avocado, put avocado on top of them. Really clean ingredients, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, um, rye flour, oat bran, oats, flax seeds, spelt grain, whatever. Literally, you can say everything. So those are good crackers for dips, hummus, things like that. And then I like rice cakes, just again, throw some peanut butter banana on it. It's an easy snack and it's literally only like rice, whole grain, brown rice. So again, healthy. Um, non fat Greek yogurt for replacements of sour cream, for dressings, for Scott might want to start making smoothies. I grabbed some juices. I've never tried these brands before, so two ginger shots. I want to be making my own, but again, I just grabbed these. They're convenient and easy for now. I grabbed two cold pressed juices. Scott really likes beet and sweet sort of juices, so I grabbed him the Mega Roots, and I grabbed me the Pickup Greens. These are cold pressed juices, and they were like two bucks. Uh, so we'll see how I feel about those. I'm telling y'all, I got so much stuff. I got some quinoa, I got the tricolor quinoa, and then the regular quinoa. I'm gonna start cooking my quinoa in a rice cooker and see if I like it better. I just feel like quinoa can be such a hassle to cook. And sometimes it doesn't like, I don't know. I don't know, it is what it is. Okay, some mushrooms full of vitamin D, good for the fact that it's not sunny out. I like spreadable butter for my toast, something I will never give up. I know that it has like oils in it, but I just need it, okay? Um, low fat cottage cheese, I love this. Salt, pepper for a snack. This is super weird. Does anyone else or their significant other love sardines? Scott likes sardines so much, but I figured I'd pick them up for him and just see if he likes this, I don't know. What is even the ingredient? There's not even like a uh, nutrition facts. That's bizarre. Maybe behind the container. I don't know. I think it's gross, but goat cheese. I like having this for like, again, salads and things like this. Just like that creamy element. So I grabbed some goat cheese. I grabbed Arlo some whole milk, yogurt, and vanilla. I grabbed like three of those. Here's another one for breakfast. Um, some mixed veggies that are frozen. That's his like go-to. He loves it. Um, I grabbed some of this Castlewood turkey breast. I love deli meat. I know it's not great for you, but I love it. Some trout for the stir fry. Some string cheese. I'm obsessed. I pretty much eat one every day and so does Harlo. Gingerbread coffee for just like hot coffee. I uh, like flavored coffee when I'm doing it like that instead of with like the cold brew. I like it like a good bean, but that I'm fine with. Some cannelli beans, again, just beans on stock. We need Q-tips, I think. 
suck grass to hose. Uh, I tried to look through some marinara sauces to go with the pasta, and I found this one that had pretty clean ingredients, so I grabbed this, and it was relatively affordable amongst the cleaner, I keep saying clean. I don't wanna be like annoying about it, but I'm just trying to be more like conscientious of things that I'm buying. And will this stick forever? Maybe not, but hopefully <laughs> I have found some good substitutes in my life. Some non-stir creamy peanut butter. Scott hates the peanut butter that I normally get. So I grabbed that one. I like it on my oatmeal. Um, and then, all these for other meats. I grabbed this two pack of pork tenderloin, so I'm gonna split this up and um, we'll have that for two meals. I grabbed this lemon pepper seasoning. I just haven't had lemon pepper in a hot minute, so I grabbed that. And then some chicken breast. So all of that, y'all, is everything, was $188. Like, I'm blown away at how freaking affordable this was. I got a lot of freaking stuff. So super happy. Let me know what else I need to try. Let me know if you wanna continue seeing things, like what I buy. Typically, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't do huge hauls like this anymore because I find that I was doing it and it was wasteful, but this, we, we literally have nothing, nothing in our fridge right now. So we need all of this. Um, but I was finding that I was wasting a lot of food just to like buy a lot of stuff. And I was just, I don't know, it was dumb. So I kind of cut back on big giant grocery hauls and kind of just buying what I need. But if you like seeing these, I could do like a monthly, if I do like a reset or something like that, um, let me know. But you all know my vlogs are typically like, I show a little bit of what I'm eating in pretty much every single vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed, found some helpful um, tips and tricks, I guess. And I also wanna just like preface this, I'm not, like I'm trying to, be mindful of people that have, you know, issues with food and relationship with food is not healthy. And I'm not trying to stuff it in your face, only need to eat like whole grains, this and that. It's like, find what works best for your family. I have a little bit more um, ability to prep up food and things like that. But if you don't, do what works for you. Like, don't try to do something that's not sustainable for you and your lifestyle. So like, what I love just buying a big thing of yogurt Yes, but Arlo really likes the cups and it is what it is. Like, is it a little bit more expensive? Yeah, is it? It's just little things that you're just trying to be better. Just make things that are a sustainable switch for you that you can maintain or else there's no point. You know what I mean? And buy things that, are, that taste good and feel good for you. Focus on how your body feels. I feel like the older I get, the more in tune with me or more in tune with my body than I, that I am. Like, I know what I like and what I don't like. I love bad food, but it feels like crap in my body. So just trying to make some healthier, simple switches, but like, girl, still get the potato chips, still eat some chocolate. Like, it's all balanced, but if 90% of your food is whole food, vegetables, all those things, then you're probably gonna feel a whole lot better. So we're gonna try out this, see how I feel, um, obviously keep you posted on my daily vlogs. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this random grocery haul on my vlog channel, I don't know. I really loved shopping at Aldi and let me know any other recs that you have. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.